Another exclusive from the team at myrnb.com.au. Bag it up and dump it. 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 And then for you, you, you. These guys are always touring. They're in Australia right now. We're sitting in Melbourne. This is Kelly Swag. What's the deal? It's your boy Smooth right here. I go by JR Third Verse. It's your boy Young, aka Mr. Swag himself. Now, I want to ask you guys, what is your inspiration for the music that you write? Man, just our lives, you feel me? We inspired by ourselves. We just do us, you feel me? Like, we just inspire each other, and we go off our own gas. And your recent track, Twerk It, what was the history behind that? Oh, uh, the homie Lux sent us that beat, his name Lux. He produced, he sent that beat, and we just thought uh, T-Fly would be good to, to get on there because he got that voice. He just got that voice. You just want to hear like that summertime party fun voice. So we gave him, we shot him the beat, and he came up with that hook, and we just blessed it. And who are your idols, whether they're rap idols, hip-hop idols, or, or otherwise? Uh, one of my idols, my favorite rapper, E-40, you feel me? Because he came in the game independent, and still independent, and still relevant, and he just, he just make all his own money for me do his own thing. And he came up with his own slang, and I could follow it. I, I mess with E-40. One of my idols is Michael Jackson. Just be, well, that's everybody's idol, really, I think. But it's because he's an all-around great performer, you know what I'm saying, artist. And uh, his dance moves is crazy inside of this world. And uh, I could dance better, and, uh, you know, as a nonsense. <laughs> but yeah, that's one of my idols. I have to say Lil Wayne because he's so different. And what's coming up for you guys? What's next? You're on tour right now. What's coming up in terms of music tours? We got the album by the drop. We all we got, you feel me? It's like the older us, you feel me? We've been growing up, you feel me? Life done changed a lot. And we done been through a whole lot of stuff. So we just came a whole lot different, you feel me? This album gonna show our range. So this is your first time in Australia? Yes, sir. What's the one thing that stands out for each of you about Australia? One thing that stand out for me is these high ass prices. It's crazy how much more stuff costs out here. It's like a double cheeseburger. It's a dollar nine at home by itself. A double cheeseburger out here is four forty five by itself. That was crazy. <laughs> I'd probably have to say the weather. I didn't think it would be so cold this time. I have to say uh, the people, the accents stand out a lot because talking to people, we really don't hear them accents at home. Everybody else, where we from, sound ghetto and retarded. You know Can we hear your Aussie accent? Can you put it on? Um, hmm. Good night, good night, mate. Yeah, it's still tight. Now, who are you feeling right now? Who's an artist that's coming out and you're like, that song's hot? The up and coming artist is named T-Fly. He the dude that's singing on the twerking song that we did. Kendrick Lamar, I really I really mess with Kendrick, you feel me? I've been listening to his album all day. Still, he be saying some, some real stuff. Like, me and the homies, that song is crazy. Like, I feel like that's my life, I swear to God. I don't know. I mean, it's a lot of people on the web doing it right now. Uh, we got a... Uh, Label made name Mr. Smith doing his thing from the Bay Area, so he a uh, come artist right now too. Now we talked a bit about before about the success of the Dougie single. So that's got millions and millions and millions of views on YouTube. It's been a club hit for years now. It's still dropped today, and watching you guys perform it, the crowd still went nuts to that. Now how do you come out? How do you top that record? Man, I wish I knew. You just gotta do you, you feel me? That record was so big, it was like, it was before our time, like, that record right there. We did that and was just expecting to just go to a couple clubs, you feel me, have some fun. You feel me, that was way bigger than we, we expected. We thought we was about to have a little fun, but we ended up going, it changed our lives, you feel me? So we just work, you feel me? We just make music, we do us. So when you're on tour, before you perform, are there any pre-rituals that you have to do? We always we always pray before a show, most of the time, and ask the Lord uh, 
the blessings while we on stage so we can put on a good show for the people. And uh, the M is watching over us. You know what I'm saying? We turned up like he did. And what's the one thing you can't travel without? I cannot travel without my phone. It's a wrap. My grandfather's ring. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know. It, it motivates me. Every time I look at it, I don't know. I, I guess it's something about it that makes me want to go harder all the time. So, yeah. All right. Now, you guys have traveled all over the world. You've been to many different places, different countries. What's the one place you would love to go go to that you haven't been to or that you want to go back and spend some more time? Uh, the homie AJ just made me want to go to India like a mug. I don't know about all the stray monkeys just running around stealing your hats and stuff. Like, I ain't got time for no monkeys trying to get my fashion, you feel me? But I want to go to India and see the Taj Mahal. I just heard some crazy stories while we was over there chopping it up. Uh, I think it'd be dope if we go to Brazil. I don't know. It seemed like a cool, tropical place to be. I want to go back to Papua New Guinea. It was different as hell. And I heard that um, the tribes out there eat people. So. And you want to go back? Yeah, because that's crazy to me. I don't know. I'm just weird too, I guess. And have you got any shout outs? Anyone you want to shout out to? Oh, we want to shout out AJ. We want to shout out all our Australia. Uh, we want to shout out Tobias. Yep, C4 Promotions. Um, who else? THI Entertainment. Is that it? THI. Yeah. And uh, my R&B. Um, shout out these two dudes right here. Shout out our city, Inglewood. Yeah. Shout out everybody watching, everybody that support us. You know what I'm saying? Shout out all the haters. Shout out to all the ugly girls that like us. Shout out to the pretty ones. Uh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> shout out to everybody, man. And lastly, how do how do your fans get in, keep in contact with you? How do they follow you? This pool crazy. They can follow us on Twitter at Cali Swag District on uh, Facebook. I mean, uh, shut up, man. <laughs> on Instagram too, it's the same as Cali Swag D S T R C T. No eyes in district. Shit too long. So yeah, follow us on Twitter and Instagram. You feel me? You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Smooth D A General. That's S M O O V E. DA General, you feel me? I'm chop it up. You can look at my pictures. See how I'll be flying and all that. Yeah, man.